Give it a full four wind. Wind is right to left, four minutes. Four minutes? Yes, sir. Thousand and sixteen yards, four minute wind hold. That was the shot, my man. Thank you. <laughs> you awesome. must welcome. That was awesome. Nice. Car. Really, really, really good. We truly are living the dream out here. My name is Brian Matthews. I am from Scottsdale, Arizona. I've been hunting for as long as I can remember. I first started hunting, but basically it was mostly bird hunting, quail, uh, chucker, pheasant, uh, all of those kinds of things. Uh, started with my dad and, and my brothers and you know now continues to this day in a different country. I wanted to come to South Africa to hunt things that are obviously only available in this continent. And it's been a lifelong dream. It's gotten postponed uh, two or three times here. And then the sanctions got lifted and I had an opportunity to come early and I was able to take advantage of it. There are certain animals, I think, that, that are of interest, um, but mostly it's just about the hunt itself. You know, just going through the process, working with my pH, understanding the different nuances, and, and just it's a different way of hunting than, you know, what I'm used to. One of the reasons that I wanted to come to John X was because of the long range aspects that are available there. The pHs are, are dialed in with that. For me, just the perfect match made in heaven. Well, Brian, a massive welcome. Thank you, sir. It's a real pr uh, privilege and an honor to have you over the side. Uh, we've been shut down for many months um, after having lockdowns and all the craziness in the world but so great to be back out in the field for me as a guide and to actually have someone who's excited and out here for the first time is just a, a great opportunity and going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I thank you guys for having me out here and it's, uh, it's going to be special. Yeah, I mean, the guns shot well on the rain, so we got a first day out, it's pretty stormy, and there's definitely the, the weather seems to be have a storm coming in tomorrow, but the rest of our week looks clear. And yeah, I think uh, given how we did on the range, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to get a lot of long range practice under the belt and yeah, get a nice mix of animals. So Perfect. take it as it comes, see what we can find. I'm in your hands, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's just see, he's on a game trail where he wants to keep left and if we would just get to this next tree, uh, he he's probably would stay there where he is now, um, but at least we can get a little bit closer if we get to like 670 or 650.
Brian, we've got a really pretty steady wind here. It's a strong wind, but at least it's steady. The monster blue wildebeest bull there. It's walking up on that ridge. It is kind of keeping an eye on us. We're far enough away, it's not too bothered. Let's just keep going up here, kind of across the opposite ridge from it and see if we can close the distance a bit. But yeah, we're getting 20 mile power gusts here, but I think we can do this shot. Heading straight up the hill now. Yeah, he's still... He's looking he's, at us. Remember what I said to you about that, like, safe distance? So he's... He's definitely looking at us and he's not happy. I'm just looking for a platform here we can set up if we don't have too much grass. Give it, the f give it a full four wind. Wind is right to left, four minutes. Four minutes? Yes, sir. Okay, send it when ready. Great shot. What a shot. Yes. He's going down. No, he's done. Thank Spot you. on. Thank you. That's no easy shot to come out and do a four minute wind hold in 20 <laughs> mile per hour wind. Perfect. Great well done, pop. man. That other half minute, I saw it yeah. right there in the Spot shoulder. Spot on. Yep. Took him out. A monster blue wildebeest bull. What a, what a lovely trophy and what a lovely shot. I mean, it's not an easy shot in this wind. Uh, we tell you what, you made it. You look like a seasoned professional uh, there. You just... Great wind call helps <laughs> out. Thank you. <laughs> Brian, that is as good a blue wildebeest as you are ever going to see. <laughs> what a tremendous, tremendous animal. Beautiful old bull. Look how cracked up he is here. And just the width, the curve, he's just got everything this bull. What a tremendous, tremendous trophy. When that thing looks at you, its ears are pricked up in the inside like that. Yeah, that's and you could, nice. you could see like clear inch and a half gap. I mean, he's, the spread on this bull is just tremendous. A tremendous, tremendous bull. Hey, you made it look easy, Amazing. sir. Great Good job, call. man. Thank you. Thank you. Four minute wind call at uh, 620 in, in 20 mile per hour wind. That's a, a pretty, pretty gutsy shot. So well done. So what a tremendous animal. And yeah, it's a good confidence building shot there. I tell Absolutely. you what, we're only going to build on that throughout the week. But what an awesome animal. Eh? Great way to start. get to this edge and sit down here and glass here but there is a fair herd of gemspuck across there which we can easily make our way around and get closer but if we sit here I can put the scope up and look at them but it looks like quite a big herd across there. Okay. It actually looks like a good bull but because of the spotting scope and I can zoom in closely and I can see um, it's all just a deception. Actually, an entire young bachelor hood. There's nothing worth shooting here. Perfect. We'll walk up to the plane, see what we see up there. No One thing that we do get, Brian, is tremendously beautiful sunsets here. I don't know if it's the dust content in the air or what it is, but Almost every other day at least is a really exceptionally beautiful sunset.
Yeah, let's keep walking, Brian. Uh, that sable's lying with his nose in the wind. Although we're completing the open here, it's facing straight away from us. Couldn't be more perfect. Let's just keep moving quickly while he's facing away. And um, do we get closer and see him? We'll set the scope up and have a good look at him. It definitely looks like an old bull. Um, I can see for sure, but I can see the mass going up, but let's just move while he's facing away. We're very fortunate he's looking straight away from us and the wind is ripping it. Let's just move left a little bit more to these next termite mounds here. How far is it from here? 300. 300? Yeah. You don't think we move just yet a little bit of rise or we're gonna... Let's just move forward to this next brush here. Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. When you, one and a half. Yeah, but get on the scope and you'll see, we can talk about where you're going to put it. So take the main, okay. take the bottom of the grass, or the, where the grass ends, the okay. black bit you can see, split that black piece in half and come just below halfway. Okay. So what you can see there, the bottom quarter. Got it, I'm ready. One and a half. One yeah. One and a half on wind. Yes, correct. Okay, send it. Watch him, he's coming toward us. Okay, he's standing behind the pond dike. You see this cluster of brush to our left here? The cluster of brush left of this tournament mount in front of us. Yeah. He's, he's just in that cluster there looking at us. Okay. Can you see him at all from where you are set up? No, but I can get the tripod out. Okay, just get up. He's standing still. Same distance, same one? Yes, definitely the same one. Down. Yeah, he's down, Brian. What's that? He's down. Okay. Jeepers. <laughs> the wind is not making it easy no. for us. <laughs> We're getting blown off here, but we got lucky. The wind is so hard. He was facing straight away. That first shot hit him, I think, you know, the way he was lying, who knows, maybe a bit far back, but um, he was sore. He ran to that brush, stood there, looked around, and he was hurting, and we put another one on him, and he's down there in that brush, so awesome job, sir. Thank you. Not easy yeah. in this wind, no, but yeah, absolutely. great animal. Thank you. Let's go have a look. Brian, this was... High priority animal for you. Yes, it was. And it is a spectacular sable bull. Come check it out, sir. You know it's ancient because of the secondary growth here. If you look from the side, you see it's got like a post there. Mm -hmm. That's all secondary growth. Only really old animals get that. So we shot a really nice old bull. Uh, put two shots in him. First shot, a little bit back, um, just the angle it was lying at. Um, and it's not easy in this howling wind. I mean, we're registering extreme wind here today. But yeah, made short work of it, put a follow shot up, and here he is. Fantastic, fantastic old bull. You can be very proud of this animal. It's a glorious sable. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. That yeah, awesome. you're most welcome. Man. water is pretty far it's over there so he could be walking over here this wind is swirling a lot but we actually need to we last saw it about here we need to cut straight here and um, it should have marched past us and try and spot him that way but the more we go here the wind keeps turning That's not him. Wait, the bull coming after this one. He's blinded, looking straight in the sun towards us. Wind is perfect. Wait, 
there's a bull coming behind this bull. He's bigger, not this bull. Wait for him. Okay, that bull. There he comes. Take him whenever you can. Take him. On the shoulder, take him. Great shot. Hammered him. They're very tough animals. He will run a few yards, but that's in the heart. There he's going down, going down, down. <laughs> what a hunt. What a hunt. Cat and mouse back yeah. and forth. Jeepers. It came, worked so perfectly. Went and dropped someone off the freeway and here he comes. <laughs> what, a, what a hunt, my goodness. Let's go check that magnificent animal out. I like the sound of that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we had to be patient. A very decent bull came out and we waited out for the big boy we stuck to our guns said no the other ones are, are, are definitely a slightly longer bull we'll wait for him and we got him well brian we set up at a thousand yards in this bull and he just kept walking away from us come check it out how awesome is this you said monster you want to <laughs> huge bodied animals eh and to think he sucked that bullet up, but look at these beautiful, beautiful horns. Wow. Long length on them, good mass, beautiful symmetry. He's got a blocky head on them. It's just a beautiful, old, thick-set bull. See what I was talking about, that white, like, ivory color in there. From distance, you can just see that white, like, color tone in there popping. And you just know you're into an old animal there. Yeah, you, you won't see, the young ones won't have this white horn like this at all. So, yeah, I was excited when I saw him and we got here and... Turned out to be an exciting hunt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well done. So it's really an awesome animal. I know it was on our list and yeah, we, we had fun after this one this afternoon. Yeah, this one was special. Thank yeah, you. you're most welcome. Awesome. What a glorious morning out, Brian. You hear the frogs calling, from that bit of rain we had last night, birds are shouting, the dust has been settled by that little bit of rainfall. Kudu are out. Definitely more active, I hear more sound out here. Yeah, it's unbelievable. There's so many kudu out. We're going to keep glassing these deep canyons and keep <laughs> heading down into the wind. The wind's coming kind of straight south now, so it's perfect the direction we're heading keep glassing all the way down these big canyons and yeah we keep the pursuit of kudu alive but i want to go have a look at this heart of his pool we need to walk closer it's, the mirage is so thick 
um, but he looks like he could be decent. He's definitely got a big body on him. Um, I want to walk left here, yeah, get in these trees and get closer uh, where the mirage is not so bad. Come one click down, eight and a quarter, one click down. Perfect. Okay, there's the one on the far right there. We're 0.75 on the wind. Wind is right to left, so tuck it in that crease behind the shoulder. You ready? Send it when ready, squeeze it off. Perfect shot. It hit him a little bit back. He's going down. Tucked in there perfectly, stumbling down. Nice. <laughs> Good job, sir. Glad we got on the right one. I was looking at the wrong one for a second. That's the problem when you get into a bachelor herd, yeah. and that is a bachelor herd of bulls there. And you know, they're switching in there. And we were just talking earlier about how ostriches tend to run mindlessly. They ran and then they, they chase a harder beast, then they see a harder beast running, then they just follow it. So the harder beast is now running away from the ostrich, it's just a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, got a really nice one there and we chose the right one. You could just see there, the, the belly rolled over, he's done. Perfect shot, perfect wind call. Exactly. Let's go check it out. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> You're most welcome. Brian, this is one of those that I, I like where it actually grows as you walk up to it. <laughs> this is a boss of a harder beast. A monster body on him. My goodness. And look at the mass on these horns. In, in my language, that is a proper harder beast. A proper harder That's a proper harder beast. <laughs> look at that. Look at the extreme mass in that horns, it was unbelievable. So we chose well off the bachelor herd there, followed this bull, waited for him to turn right, feed clear of the tree there. And then my initial instinct, the way he just hunched right up was maybe hit a bit back, but he didn't go 30 yards. And Yari is curled up, a lot of blood came out here. So obviously hit the right stuff, it was on the mark. So 550 yards. Uh, 10 mile power gusts of wind, so a lovely little shot this morning and we came away with a really a beautiful hardebeest bull. Fantastic, fantastic bull. Well, thank you sir, as usual, right on the money. I appreciate it. You're most welcome sir. Brian, that's definitely the same bull we left here this morning. So six hours late or so, he's still here. Um, when I, he's just gone in that red bush now. He was chewing his cud when I saw him. So I think he's definitely starting to feed for sure. Um, there's a bull this side of him that is feeding, that younger bull. And then that one that you spotted above him. So yeah, he's there. We're gonna head down now, get round the wood and get onto the same side of this big canyon as that kudu and come from the left and we'll just keep looking, keep looking. And we've worked ourselves a very good position here, Brian. He's at 900 now, can't see its body, but that tree's also just above this ridge. So there's a ridge between us and it, and that ridge is 400. So we get to that ridge, we've got a lot of cover there too. We can lie down, we'll be 500 yards, we we'll wait for it to come up perfectly, get nicely set up all the time in the world, and we can make a good shot. He's going to follow this line here now and then you know, cut up here and as we crest this first ridge I'm going to start looking for a good platform for us. We'll lie down there and get ready and let him feed out. Okay. 
Okay, the wind's only half a minute right, so I just put it on his shoulder and you've got more than enough leeway there, just tuck it in. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, send it when ready. Squeeze the shot off. Perfect hit. Good hit, I see the blood coming out. Reload, we'll just stay on him. Lots of blood coming out, he's getting weak. And he's down, Brian. What a stalk, what a hunt. We left this bull here this morning and to come back in the afternoon and find him more than 1200 yards away, put a stalk on, close the distance to 400. What an epic hunt, what a story. That's awesome, thank you. Well sir. done, sir. That was great. Well done. Awesome, what a beautiful old kudu. Perfectly symmetrical, wide horns, old, old bull. Good job, sir. Oh, man. How awesome is that, sir? Oh, man. Let me take your rifle. What an epic hunt for an epic, epic animal. Just an ancient bull, super beautiful. Check that out. So pretty. That is one of the main ones you were after coming here. Beautiful old set of horns. Yeah, this is proper secondary growth. You see these ridges here like that. That's these deep ridges in the horn like that. That's just from great age. It's an ancient bull this thing. Completely ancient. This is like a 10 year old. Just an old animal. He's down in condition in these dry times. It's been struggling a bit. What an awesome old animal. Thank you, sir. You're That's most happening. welcome, sir. Okay. Congratulations. Awesome, awesome afternoon hunt this. My goodness. To come back here in the afternoon and find him where we left him this morning, put a long stalk like that, it's just tremendous. It was awesome. You know, the whole stalk, you think where we've come from, the whole top of that next hill there, All the way down. through the canyon, everything. Yeah. It's pretty epic. Cheers. It, cheers. On this pond there is actually like a, a little dish going all the way up. You take that line and go nearly to the top. I see now a young eland bull there in the open. The big bull I saw obviously just step behind a tree temporarily. Yeah, yeah, it's a bull following a cow around. That cow's on heat. Look at that thing's dewlap root hangs to its knees. Yep, that bull is interested in that cow. He's just, he won't let her out of his sight. You know, it's unusual, Brian, the never are clients here during the eland rut, and that's this time of the year. So from November, you start seeing the big bulls come out of hiding, and, and the big bulls start following cows and joining the herds. And that's also why these bulls are fairly um, bulked up. I mean, they've got a lot of testosterone going, they're rubbing their horns on everything, and the biggest, strongest bulls have come out of hiding from living most of the year in little bachelor groups in the deep canyons. They're now out and following the cows. It makes me smile to see such a quality animal. <laughs> I get excited. These big old 
beasts like this would be their hide most of the year. And now the eland are rutting and now he's out. Right, let's go closer, figure out a plan to get to this animal. We'll head back to the truck, we'll go to the other side of that canyon and we'll walk, get the wind right, get closer. Get them over that hill. Well, we're gonna go, they'll be down in that next valley, we'll find them that side. Let's move forward. But we'll get up here, there is another high point ahead of us, and we can stop and look in. Oh no, we'll find him there. We need to cut into the trees, get out of their sight and keep cutting along. Right, I can see cows down here, so that herd is here, so our bull will be here. Unfortunately, we have to go cut into this thick stuff here because there's a lot of eyes there. If we cut in the straight line here, they're going to be, going to be spotted. There's really very little wind because it is kind of more in our face. And they're in the hollow and we're going to be under 500. So I don't think it's going to be much wind component at all. So don't stress too much about the wind. We've, we've, we'll get onto him now and at the point of the shot, I'll tell you if I see any wind. But at this stage, it's fairly calm. It's two, three miles per hour. So let's just get into a position here through these trees. See him down there. There he is. Low down, just as low as you can see. You see him there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that black face? I'll tell you the distance now. Oh, there are two monster bulls here. Two, there's our bull and another bull. You know, you're spoiled when you've got two monster eel and that the pH can't decide which one's better. <laughs> My goodness. One's horns are a bit wider, the first one we're following. The, the, that herd, that little group, uh, collided with this other big herd. And the bull that's in this big herd now, my goodness, he's got a body and a half on him. And uh, his horns are perfectly symmetrical, kind of just straight up like that. The bull that we were chasing is a bit wider, but you know, they're both magnificent. Let's just look right here for a place to set up. I'm getting 320 on the range. So the original bull we're chasing, he's up in the trees above the rest of the herd feeding there. We're still gonna go for original bull, although they're two monster bulls here. The original bull we're after, they've got the wider horns, the most beautiful mop on his face. He's feeding just above the cows. We're definitely gonna try again onto him. Gonna put it in the crease there, Brian. Midway up, tuck it into the crease of the shoulder. Squeeze that shot off. Good hit, Brian. That hit him really good. He's standing just left of the tree. It tucked in well. Don't shoot, there are lots of animals running around there. Let's just watch. They're very big bodied, very tough animals. But that tucked in the sweet spot. Okay, he's in the middle of the cows currently. I can't see him, but I'm taking your word for it. Yeah, he's stumbling. He's kneeling. He's kneeling down. He just expired right there, Brian. Thank you, man. That is a That's really a tr tremendous trophy. Tremendous, tremendous animal. You know, it's the first time in years that I've got to hunt eland in the eland rut. Our season's normally shut down. So us having such a late season <laughs> summer hunt, the eland are in the herd. 
uh, the big bulls have come out of hiding and how spoiled do we come out yeah and i've never had that um, opportunity to have two bulls so impressive to have to decide and actually like nitpick and say well that one's got slightly slightly better something or other <laughs> they're just two really beautiful bulls and man he got away from us this morning we've walked right over into the next canyon wind was great and we worked our way right into the group here so Congratulations, so that is an awesome animal and what a great morning hunt. Absolutely, thank you. You're most welcome. That's awesome. Ryan, oh my good gracious. I thought I'd pick his head up and show you, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing's huge. My goodness. That now uh, you, you see how big they are when you get up to them. Yeah. It's like a baby rhino. <laughs> so this is what we were after. So this is I said to you, you know, this is the time of year to shoot a monster. And when I saw this guy this morning, I had no doubt at all. Check at the neck on this. I mean, it's probably 50 inches around the neck there. And look at this brush of hair here. And that's only get that with exceptional age and good genetics. So look at this awesome, awesome beast of an animal. Wide horn spread. Right at the end there, we were trying to choose between this guy and the other bull in the herd. And yeah, I definitely liked this guy the first moment I saw him this morning. And I didn't change my mind when he reached the other bull. He really is a magnificent Elan bull. In terms of the Cape Elan, doesn't really get much better than this. Wow, what an animal. <laughs> <laughs> You're most welcome, sir. Awesome. What an awesome morning out, my goodness. Yeah.